Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J advance in the paper 1 physics in the year 2019. This question was from the topic of Young's modulus properties of matter and this was a simple question and I'm sure that most of the students would have collected free marks in this. So here we have a steel wire and a copper wire. The lengths have been given. Cross sectionals area have been assumed to be same. So we hung a block whose mass or weight 100 Newton has been given and we have to find the uh, elong ratio of the elongation in the copper wire to the steel wire. This is what we are assumed to we, we have to find. So let's see uh, like how do we do this question. If we balance the forces on this point so 1 mg is going to act over here. Let's say the tension in the copper wire will be Tc and tension in the steel wire is Ts. Now this angle we can say will be 150 degrees because this will be 60 alternate angles so this will be 90 so total will be 150 similarly this angle will be 120 degrees and this is 90 now if you apply Lamy's theorem on this point so we can say that uh, ts upon 120 will be is equal to tc upon 150 sorry sine of 120 tc ts upon sine of 120 will be is equal to tc upon sine of 150 is equal to mg upon sine 90 Although we don't need this thing, but I wrote it just for the completion sake. So from here, we can say that sine 120 is uh, sine 60 as well. So we can say that it is root 3 by 2. So this will become like this. And sine 150 is half because it is sine 30 as well. So this will become like this. So from here, 2 and 2 will be cancelled. So we can say that TC upon TS will be equals to 1 upon root 3. Right. Now, if you apply the Young's modulus formula on this, stress by strain equals to uh, Young's modulus. So, if you see the copper wire, so we can say that Tc upon uh, area of cross section will be is equals to Young's modulus of copper into uh, delta Lc divided by length of the copper wire, which is root 3. Okay. And Ts upon area of cross section, which is same is equals to Young's modulus of steel into delta L of steel delta L of steel which we have to actually write it over here uh, to find the ratio and length is 1. Now if you take Tc by Ts just divide this is let's say equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if you divide equation 1 by equation 2 you are going to get Tc by Ts okay which is nothing but 1 by root 3 is equals to uh, Yc into delta lc divided by root 3 into ys delta ls right root 3 and root 3 will be gone so we can say that delta lc upon delta ls that is what we need to find delta lc upon delta, delta ls yes so delta lc upon delta ls will be equals to ys upon yc now what is ys uh, ys is this and yc is this that means if you take the ratio you can see that this will be cancelled so we are going to get the answer as 2 this will be the answer so as you can see this was a fairly simple question and almost all the students would have done this under you know 2 minutes in the exam thank you